Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your friend, No Way. In this video, I want to first make it very clear that it's not that I do not believe the virus is real. I do not believe people are getting sick. What I do not believe in is the overhype, the lies coming from our media, the lies coming from our own state officials, and the loss of our liberty and this medical martial law that so many millions of people have bowed right down to and they're getting very angry at others that do not believe what they believe. In this video, I will prove to you that there is a lot of misinformation coming from the very people demanding that we must follow everything that they say. They're lying to you. We have seen many videos surfacing in the past few days of people going right to these hospitals that are supposedly overrun and overwhelmed. I'll make it clear right now. The biggest infection spreading entity in Maine right now are the hospitals. They are the health care staff. We have well over 50 healthcare profession so-called professionals that have spread the disease to people seeking medical care now that's a problem when our own healthcare so-called professionals are the ones spreading the disease not the people so let's look at what i have put together for all of you my name is nirav shaw and I am the director of the State of Maine Center for Disease Control and Prevention. I'd like to provide everyone an update on the COVID-19 situation across the state. I'd like to turn next to the number of cases overall statewide. There are currently 432 confirmed cases of COVID-19 across the state. That represents an increase of 56 cases since yesterday. 75 individuals have been hospitalized at some point during their illness, and 113 individuals have recovered, an increase of 17 since yesterday. Overall, there have been over 4,100 consults made of Maine CDC staff since the time we began our activation. And one of our goals right now is to continue our epidemiological analysis to look for additional signs of community transmission. At this time, there have only been two counties in Maine where we have confirmed the presence of community transmission, and those remain Cumberland and York counties. We do, however, continue to expect an increase in cases of COVID-19 across the state, both in terms of number as well as in geography. I'd like to turn now to a brief update on our laboratory testing. At present, Maine CDC's laboratory here in Augusta has the capacity to perform approximately 3,500 tests for individuals who may have COVID-19. We are continuing to keep tabs on the supply of the chemicals, the reagents, that are used as part of this testing. And we continue to make sure that we can order in advance so that our testing capacity at the state level remains as robust as possible. We are also working with private commercial laboratories as well as hospital-based laboratories in our effort to expand the availability of testing across the state. I'd next like to turn to updates on our distribution of personal protective equipment across the state. Personal protective equipment, or PPE, are life-saving pieces of equipment that are worn by healthcare workers and frontline responders to help keep themselves safe from contracting or transmitting COVID-19. For several weeks now, Maine CDC has been receiving and shipping out supplies of PPE to frontline healthcare workers across the state. As we're talking right now, a team of Maine CDC employees working with our partners 
at the Department of Transportation is in total delivering over 109,000 pieces of protective equipment to healthcare workers and first line, front line responders across the state. That's seven full vans of protective equipment that are being distributed as we speak right now. I'd also like to provide a brief update on the availability of vital assets across the state. As we've discussed, Maine CDC has been working with hospitals across the state to get a better inventory on some of the life-saving assets that we may need to tap into when the, as the outbreak continues to worsen. As of right now, there are a total of 289 ICU beds across the state, 110 of which are available. There are a total of 324 ventilators, of which 267 are available. And so I commend all people in Maine for doing their part in staying indoors, reducing that congestion that we know can transmit the virus. I'd like to end on a reflection about where things stand right now. I recognize that these are difficult, disorienting, and unsettling times. Today's Friday, but what do days of the week even mean right now? especially if you're struggling. A lot of us don't feel okay with all of this disorientation. And that's okay, because it's okay not to be okay. For many of us, we live in a world where science fiction right now is actually science fact. Speaking for myself, there are times when it seems like we're living in a dream. One of those situations where you wake up in the middle of the night and you're not quite sure whether what happened the day before was real or some figment of your subconscious. It's almost as if we're living in a movie that was written, cast, and directed by our literary friend up in Bangor. But unlike a dream where your subconscious is in control, or a work of fiction where the author is in control. We are in a situation where we are in control, even though it may not feel that way. We are the ones who are writing the script right now. We are the ones who can control the arc of the story by doing particular things like physically distancing ourselves, like washing our hands, like covering our coughs, and making sure we all stay healthy. We, all of us in Maine, get to write the next chapter, and we get to write the ending ourselves. So I recognize that these are difficult times, but there are steps that we can all take to take control of the situation. So with that, okay, what we have is you see walk-in care, there's front entrance, but as you see, there's no one here. This place has closed right down. Emergency. No one here. This is the main hospital. Southern Maine Healthcare. They said there was coronavirus testing going on. But as you see, there's nothing. There's your emergency in entrance over that way. No tent, no people. Main entrance. No no testing.
this is uh, I guess there's a few people hanging out but uh, other than that the only parking lot that's full is over this direction which is the employees so I guess all the employees are there but there's no testing anywhere for corona so I guess so what I just showed you ladies and gentlemen is the local main hospital for York County where they say there, there's a large spread uh, Cumberland County has twice as much as we do but they have twice the population that we do what I'm telling you and asking you to do is do not take their word for whatever they're saying because they are lying to you clearly openly lying to you implanting fear so you know uh, the easiest way to control the public is have them in such a state of fear that they will believe anything they're told get off your duffs get in your car take a ride just like I did they're claiming all these hospitals have testing going on and there's all these things going on but they're not you saw the hospital is dead nobody is in line nobody's being tested they don't do the testing inside they do the testing outside in tents they do not do it inside the hospital they don't even have any tents set up nowhere they're claiming to do all be doing all of this testing but I cannot find anywhere around southern Maine where they're even doing the testing trust nobody question everything are you really willing to bow down and give up America to the globalist that seem to be hell-bent on taking it from you do your own research you are being lied to you are being led down a very slippery slope we need to protect our country from these people who will take it from you out of nothing but fear as I said I'm not saying the the flu is not there I am saying we do not have to deal with this panic and these lockdowns and this communist rule that so many people in Maine have bowed down to without question out of nothing but fear that's it fear so be vigilant ladies and gentlemen stay safe in these trying times and until next time this is no way out